Welcome back, folks. Um, if you're returning, welcome back. And if you're the first time uh, viewer, then welcome to the channel. So these are my next two projects. I have a lot of projects, but I'm going to try to focus on these two. Because I finally got all the parts that I wanted so I can mix and match. So this is kind of a review as well. Um, we have the 116, 118 uh, Humvee from Amazon. I, I think you could buy it on eBay as well. You can find it out there. It's fairly cool. Fairly cheap. Uh, it only costs about 25 bucks uh, free shipping from Amazon. Uh, way cool. Awesome representation. Uh, great detail. Um, it lacks windows. That's the only downfall. But, And then we have here the Cheetah. The Lamborghini Cheetah. Or what it's... It was relabeled as a Firefox. This is an actual RC. You can find them out there. They're fairly expensive. Um, once in a while, you'll, you'll have them um, anywhere between 40 and 60 bucks. Um, and that's the cheapest that I found this. Most of the time, you can find some on eBay for about 200 bucks. Um, I never got one that actually worked. Uh, they're old. They're from 1980s, I think. Uh, Mid-80s. Um, but way cool. Uh, by itself, it's not designed to carry any kind of um, action figures uh, because it just has too much electronics back here or down here, I should say. And um, back in the days, well, they needed all the space they can get. But they're easily modified. Um, I've modified one. Um, one Actually, I modified like two of these. Uh, one of them, it's a green vamp style and it has two Nerf cannons uh, i have a video if you're interested in it by all means but it's a cool vehicle it's just overall uh, and the lamborghini cheetah from my understanding was the inspiration for the vamp it's got that um that somewhat vamp look uh, there's two versions actually there's a few versions of this the t-top and then there's the canvas top um either one is, is it's pretty cool to work with as far as mods are concerned what it's going to happen is that I'm going to merge these two together. Um, we have the Humvee, which is, is an awesome vehicle. Um, but it, it just, with the updated armor, with the upgraded armor, it looks like it's a turtle in a oversized shell. Um, it just, it widens the, the, the body. Um, and that's by design, of course, because, you know, when you fortify the body, you're going to extend it uh, from its original design in order to protect the cab, um, the Marines that are driving it. So that's understandable. But it just makes it look a little bit awkward from here. So I'm going to modify, put some, especially the hood, on this one. Um, still should be maintaining somewhat of a, a vamp crossover Humvee hybrid. Um, I'm going to use some of the parts of, of the back from this Humvee and, and some of the parts from here to go ahead and um, superimpose on here. And then the cab should remain the same and it should fit just, just right on, the, uh, on this body frame. And, of course, I'm going to make it an RC. Um, so, yeah, that's that project. That should take me a while. So, um, same thing. Oh, and why do I do that? It's because, as far as scales concerned, there's a lot of scales out there. Um, I don't think anybody really gets it just right. And then when they do get it right, it's not for the vehicle. And it's just, even the one... 118 scales you have some rcs that are 118 scale but they have an extraordinarily uh, wide uh, wheel base and that, that just it makes it not look like 118 scale um you go for 116 scale which is about the same the size of the new gi joes and and it looks too big um so for myself i'm just a little bit of a, a nitpicker as far as that's that that's concern um and so i tried to get it right for the figures that i'm building it for the humvee 
this one, even though it's great in detail, um, it just it looks just a little bit small, just a tiny bit small, um, just enough for me to go ahead and want to do this this um, merge um, this hybrid. So it should after it gets all said and done, it should look good to go. Um, but yeah, even even the one like I was saying before, the one ten scale. And the 112 scale vehicles out there, they're a little bit hard to um, to mash up. Um, that's where we have this project. So on this project, it's fairly the same, except that it's flip-flopped. So we have the Tamiya, it's supposedly 112 scale Humvee. To me, this is just a tiny bit too big we have the 112 scale gi joe upgraded pants and he's in transition to get upgraded um but it just it's too big the humvee is just just a tiny bit big uh the doors are almost good to go but a little bit too big um you make this into an rc and it's gonna look way too big um so uh the side panels and everything it looks fairly good i think they get this side right i just don't think they they got this right in my opinion so that's gonna be upgraded we're gonna use the gi joe the gi joe humvee um these aren't popular they're not popular at all um even on eBay, it's kind of, people have a hard time selling these. They were just off scale for any type of GI Joe, but I'm sure you've seen them. They come with electronics, like uh, lots of electronics and, um, but they just never fit the GI Joe universe. But I, I thought it was a good vehicle for 112 scale, uh, except that they got a few things wrong. Um, the hood here is flat and that's so not iconic of the Humvee. The Humvee has this weird tiny angle here and that's what I, I bought this one for is to capture that. Um, there's a huge difference here but I think it's accurate for the 112. This one's accurate as far as size. This one not so much so I'm going to take off this square and then I'm going to go ahead and cut it down the middle, shrink it down. Because this is almost perfect with this. But not here. So it's going to be a cut in here. Take off some of the material, squeeze it down. And then use the top hood to go ahead and merge with this one. To give it more of a realistic look. It's a small detail, but it's small enough where it's going to bug me. And that's why I make these builds. Um, just want to get it accurate as best as I could. Um, so I already started, took off the doors. Um, it was fairly simple because they're very indented here. So grinding uh, the material down through here, put a light on back here, and then you can see a line where these lines are at. And once, you, once I go ahead and mark those lines, I could just take a Dremel and grind away uh, the material until it starts coming through. And then once it starts coming through, just take an X-Acto knife and cut through here. Uh, it makes for a clean cut. It's a little bit time consuming, but kind of meditating, just working slowly and and uh, just taking taking my time. Uh, this is a big project. I, I foresee it taking me a while. Um, I'm not gonna use the doors. I'm gonna make it more of a recon Humvee. Uh, recon team so um, that should be interesting um but uh basically gonna take off the back too i'm not gonna use any of the back here um even though it's got great detail i might take off that door that that door is fairly detailed and i might put this back here because it just doesn't have any detail 
But then again, the, the recon Humvees are usually decked out with lots of extra gear, a lot of um, extra um, uh, fuel containers, diesel containers, and also water containers. So the gear for these, they're fairly stripped down, fast moving, um, easy to be able to deploy. That's my cat telling me that she wants it out. I'm the doorman for my cat. Um, so yeah, uh, I'm gonna get ready. I'm gonna cut the hood, and once I cut the hood and make make my my, my modifications, then it I, it's gonna be this is gonna be the biggest part right here, the biggest modification to go ahead and make this this size. Um, we'll see how it comes out. It has a lot of space in here. It has a lot of space, so I, I don't know. I might put some extra electronics on this. And for sure some lights so um we'll see how it comes out but that's that's my next project wanted to show you folks i'm not uh too well known for making progress reports and i'm horrible at that and i apologize but i did want to get this squared away for you folks um let you know how it's going for these two projects so all right folks if you have any questions uh, feel free to send me a message and i'll answer you as quickly as i can